So we've just topped up on your MP floats, Polly. Yeah. Um, this float pattern is probably your original pattern. That's yeah from back of the image away. days. Yeah. yeah. Image yeah. days, and then Fox Match, and then yeah. obviously your MP range is a pattern that I personally use on the drains as well. Um, so it's a fibre bristle. Yes, painted fibre bristle. Decent wire stem. Wire stem. Not too flimsy wire stem. Yeah. So, and what? We go, what is important it is top grade bolster that is used right to get the correct shotting pattern yeah and what i get a lot of people say to me is follow your flow is absolutely brilliant because the shot they say they take they take yeah and you you can put a fiber 12 another fiber 12 it's, it's perfect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but i know a lot of floats can differ and that's the the, the cheapest of bolster that's used mm -hmm. right yeah no they're fantastic floats i like the eye on them as well yeah um whether that but the right place and it's kicked up to yeah. yeah that's another bonus for me venues like Benick and March these are brilliant when you've got a horrible wind on yeah. and you need a float that's going to perhaps maybe the wind's going one way and the flow's going the other a little bit thicker wire and a longer float just helps sits nice and yeah. picks up I mean, some people use the back it? shot I used to always use the back shot on the London canals yeah because they're very greasy and oily like yeah. top film yeah with the drains you don't get that so much so yeah. I very rarely use the back shot but with a back shot, don't affect it at all, and the float sits lovely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I mean, I personally use 7 or 10, 5 or 10, 4 or 10, sometimes 3 or 2 or 10. Yeah. 7 or 10 for me is like. It's the, ma yeah, is the it main is, one yeah, in the range. Yeah. Um, just brilliant floats. And a float that I haven't personally used, but you obsess with it, sell loads in the shop, is the MP Roach. Yeah, that, that's probably my best selling float. Yeah. The MP1. Mm hmm over the whole of the country because you've got not so much drains you've got canals there's a lot of people still pushing canals especially up north yeah but my mp roach has been a brilliant consistent float whether it's the size and it covers a lot of venues or more venues because it goes mm -hmm. 0.5 up to uh, five gram in the carbon and in the wire stem it goes up to three gram but it's just different areas so, so i'll go in a shop and i say oh, what float should should we stop it's just different areas different venues stop different floats yeah Whereas yourself, you sell a lot of the drain floats. You sell a lot of my MP Roach floats, I know you do, um, with the drains and that. Although we haven't had that small water, so it's smaller sizes. Yep. We haven't had a lot of rainfall the last few years. But obviously, when we're getting more rainfall, then I sell floats in the bigger sizes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You could use these on a variety of venues, couldn't you? The road, oh. whether you're going to Ireland or it, It's probably a versatile float for all situations. You can use it on drains, canals, rivers, like you said, Ireland. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the MP Roach is the only float I really use in Ireland, unless you're shallow fishing on cast, and then it's me MP4s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, two floats in Ireland I'd use. So if you were just simplifying your drain fishing, you could use MP Roach and MP1s, Yeah, and that, that's your sort yeah. of And if you favour a wire stem in the Roach, I do it, um, the MP Roach, I do it in a wire stem. Yeah. Uh, but I think why carbon and glass are the best selling floats of most people's ranges is because most people bend the wire stems. Yeah. And a float with a carbon stem or glass stem just lasts longer. They follow the weight, follow the oh, weight, yeah, don't yeah. they? Yeah. They, they fish quick and they show lift ups. So we're moving into spring now. You're going to be doing more commercial fishing. Yeah. What is, what is your pellet float? What would you use for like soft pellet and hard pellet uh, fishing? MP4. All the time for me again they're all fiber painted fiber tips it's like a cigar shape but most people even myself with my eyes starting to go that same float is an mp1 carp very similar but it's a thicker tip yeah so if you're using bigger baits yeah but providing with a thicker tip if you dot it down nicely if you're fishing a soft pellet and you can see it as opposed to see a fine tip mm -hmm. the slightest touch that will go anyway commercial carping yeah but for me mp4 all day long, soft pellet and hard pellet. Only if you're shallow fishing and then it changes then, mm -hmm. or if it's not so deep, it may be my MP4, which is still a thicker top, yeah. but obviously a smaller float. Yeah. And then when you come to real pellet and cast of fishing shallow, it'd be my MP7. That's in the wrong one. So I'll get one of those out of there. Beautiful little floats, like the old caster floats. Yep. Nice to use on the canal. Yeah. Tips. It's the little people call them dibbers, but beautiful little float. Mm -hmm. And then moving on to your rod and line fishing. 
Well, the plastic range I've got, personally myself, I like the slims that I brought out last year. Nice slim plastic. The inserts pull out, but the reason they pull out is on the bigger ones, which are my fix, which is very good for the pleasure anglers, that pull out, that pulls out and allows a four and a half mil starlight to be pushed in there. Because a lot of anglers fish into light and do night yep. fishing, and I sell a lot of these uh, simply because of that. Mm -hmm. But for my own personal use, on the red tops which I use, I like to paint the top bit black. Yeah. And I can see it like in, in uh, light or white uh, mm -hmm. water, but then I can just pull it out and stick the painted end in there and I've got my red top again yeah. for the dark. So it just makes it very versatile to use that for. And the loading on them, just explain the loading for us. Right, so if I've got, let's take this one. This is my thick insert. It's a four plus one gram. I'll do one plus one, two plus one, three plus one, four plus one, five plus one. Yeah. I can put the one plus one let's say the smaller float on the line yeah. with a few dust shot down yeah. and if it picks up I need a heavier float just so that's one plus one I need a, a, a five or a four gram float I'll put this on and it will shot to the same I've got add shot or take shot off because all the loading is in the float yeah. it's all one gram yeah. you have to add to it right. the float's the extra loading yeah. so as you can cast further nice off it's simple yeah and so the same with all the plastic you haven't got a Set no, you've got to put more shot on. Just change it straight yeah. over. If the wind drops or something, you put the light one back on and you're fishing again. So you fish it on more like a pellet waggler adapter, something yeah. like that? Yeah. I mean, these I use, it's, it's a finer top float for pellet fishing, mm -hmm. hard pellet fishing. Mm -hmm. Although a lot of pleasure anglers use them fishing the rivers, lakes and what have yeah. you. Then I'll do a thick top, which is like a pellet waggler type thing, if you're not casting too far. Mm -hmm. And then I've got a pellet waggler that's even a thicker uh, plastic yeah. float still. Yeah. So it's just, it's just floats that cover the whole range. It's amazing the amount of plastic floats I sell to the shops up and down the country or the shops I'm in. So there's lots of anglers using plastic floats and using wagglers when you think everyone's using poles now. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's great. No, I appreciate you giving us an insight into what floats you use. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you.